Hello and uh, welcome to my first full flight video for YouTube and uh, my first flight for NetJets Virtual as well as one of my first flights in this Aerobasque Phenom 300 uh, Today we're going to be going to um, Lugano from Farnborough uh, We've got the NetJets delivery here so, uh, yeah, it should be a good flight. We're live on Vatsim. And uh, I'm hoping that we get there. It should be a sunset arrival. So we should get nice visuals. Uh, yeah. The ATC is looking pretty good on the way. I mean, we haven't got any departure ATC. But from sort of the French coast. Um, well, we did have. I've just looked now and... Looks like Switzerland is offline, but hopefully by the time we get there, there'll be someone online. But yeah, through most of uh, France, we're going to have live ATC. Uh, yeah, we'll just announce uh, our intentions and there we go. So it should be good. Uh, give a quick round. The uh, Phenom. Very nice aircraft. Very nice livery as well. Yeah, it should be right. So uh, let's hop inside. We'll get it all started up. Uh, yeah, we have to announce our intention. Oh, wait. So what that other guy did, he didn't even uh, taxi. That was that engine that you could hear. Another NetJets flight that just landed here. Um, so yeah, but we'll hop inside. So this is the area. Raya. Very simple, got the Garmin G1000s. So if we get the iPad out the side here. Set up. Craft. And then... I'll just do the normal checklist. I'll pass it. Yeah. We're not going to do any pre flight and tests because uh, I haven't got any failures on today. Apart from the top here, and we'll get it going. Uh, so we've got pre flight and test completed. We've, then we've done that. Oxygen bottle push packs. Uh, rest batch. Fine. Panel. Uh, electrical panel. Can't see that, but GPU, so. We're going to the GPU panel here, plug that in. We're going to remove the static elements. Go. Uh, bleed panel, so we're going to have to go all auto. Let's go auto, auto, auto in the middle. Uh, pumps auto, cross feed off. Go to the fuel here, and if you notice, this uh, Embraer, you work from sort of the bottom here around back down. Uh, you do some stuff over here as well. That is the general flow. It's in sort of like a an upside down U shape, a N. Yeah, that's how uh, we're gonna work it. So, uh, pumps. So, done. Cross feed. Off hydraulic pumps both open, both open pusher cut out, push out, we're not out. Out, I believe. Uh, ice protection off, that's off. Uh, pressurization fine. Uh, 
Uh, engine fire panel pushed out and batch bottle off, sorry. Off. Start, stop. Starts. Off and off. Ignition life on all those. Cross levers are idle. Flaps be break up. Parking brake set, door closed. Doors quickly. Here. All closed up. Pass up. So. I believe we're ready to start. We have to go gen to auto. Battery. Do in use. Check everything. Off. Engine 2. You start on this first. That. Started there. Tos system test. Okay. We'll wait for that to spool up a little bit. I think that's stabilized there, so we'll do the T cast test. Other one Pass. before that. Probably do need to come off the uh the GPU. There's a GPU's behind the left engines. Have to go behind that after. I usually hold it for five seconds and then it should be a 20 second spool up time. As you can see, all our electric charging. We have the aircraft started. Now, let's go after start. GPU disconnected as required. Electrical emergency pushed out. Is uh, stall protections. Need to do the stall protection test. Go there, and what you have to do is you have to pull the yoke all the way towards you, and then stall. hold start. And as you can see, the yoke moved forward a bit. That means uh, the stall protection system is in use, working properly. Um, takeoff data set, trims, fine. Flight control speed brake, that's in. Ice protection as required, that's in. Flaps, set to takeoff. I usually flaps one. And. We're all started up. We just need to do our flight plan now. We have to use this uh, D1000. We go to flight plan. Uh, pick that out and then use the small inner rotary knob to go to the, the selection. Then you have to click the rotary knob and scroll down to plan, which is EGA left. Yes, today. Oh no. That's loaded, loaded the bo uh, base of our plan. Now we have to do our departure and arrival and the approach. Departure. Going to be, bear with me two seconds. Uh, Golf Whiskey Charlie 2 foot departure. Uh, runway 2 4. So that one there. Hit load. 
And we go back to procedures. Go arrival. Just quickly check the flight plan. Uh, the arrival. Odin, Odina, seven Lima departure. Seven Lima de uh, arrival, sorry. Load that. Procedures approach that we're going to be going for will be uh, IGS 01. Uh, quickly look at our flight plan. Uh, approach IGS 01. Transition at Caldo. Put that in there. I think that's. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Uh, so let's put that in there. We'll probably get vectors because maybe someone will come online and we could have a little. Nope, no one on in Switzerland at the moment, so we'll do uh, Caldo for now. Change it. Gonna put minimums in. Load that. Check. Add. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so let's have a little scroll through. Looking good. Here. Rival here. Should be fine. So we've got all the V nav. Altitude in there as well. Be good. Back up to here. And that's all the autopilots. Probably. Um, need to go here. Put 2000 as our squawk because we haven't got one online right now. So standby. Back. And on the inset map, we want to do terrain and. Oh. Oh. check the departure procedure for Gulf Whiskey Charlie. Uh, do not climb above 3,000 until cleared by 8. So we'll do 3,000 to Aslap and then we'll go up to our, our uh, cruise altitude. Get that. Here, as you can see, we have it here. Three thousand. We're gonna have nav. Don't want your damper on for the takeoff. 
And we're going to do flight level climb. And I believe we should be at about 185 is our maximum flight level climb. I'll just quickly check the... Got a max 210. Max 210 out of here. So let's go 200. And that should be the autopilot ready to go. Altimeter. 2973, I think that's. Need to set it in the G1000. Okay. Oh, cool. So I think we're ready for taxi. Get the nav lights on. Hey, you don't want the strobe on just yet. Arm the emergency lights. Not going to mess around with any of these lights here, but it will be good. And yeah, I believe we are ready for taxi. So, uh, go to taxi. And that. What runway are we going off of? Runway 24. That way. So we're going to go to Bravo. Going to go Bravo. So I've got some terrain issues on this um, airport at the moment due to the Orbex true earth. Uh, yeah, it should be. One thing that. I do need to do radio to the quick three. <clears throat> Always got to have a little off and a drink before you do your first call. And I believe we're exec jet zero five two. Going to hold him Bravo. Bravo one. Bomber traffic. Exec jet zero five two. That's into holding point Bravo one. By North Apron Bravo. Oops. We've let everyone know in the area what we're doing. Taxi light on. And we're not going to put the strobe on until we get to the runway. So it's taxi. And the north apron is going to be to our right hand side here. So um, if we just get on the uh, taxi line. And we basically just need to follow it all the way around.
I'm hoping someone uh, makes some scenery for this airport soon because the default scenery uh, is not too accurate. I mean, like, the placement and stuff like that of the buildings are, but the way they look is not accurate at all. Um, maybe I'll try and install the uh, X-Plane 11 one, but I'm not sure how that's going to look. And even that, I think, was made for, like, X-Plane 10 or something. So yeah, it won't have any like PBR materials, the texture. The end of the apron, we need to make a right turn here. Bravo. And holding point Bravo 1 will be just in front of us here. Just going to give it a little bit of throttle because the terrain mesh here is a little bit dodgy. Bravo 2 here and we just got a Cross the taxiway over to Bravo 1. And we'll just come to a stop quickly, just so we can announce our intentions. Uh, before the tickle. Picture for Bravo pushing back from stand 503 to face east on link 56. Okay. That doesn't concern us because that's at Heathrow. Uh, Kaz, that's all checked. Signs, that's all good, 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 good. Uh. Packs of wires, external lights. And so we need to do that. <coughs> oh, so we're ready to line up. So I'm just going to announce that. Bamba traffic, exec jet 052 lining up runway 24. And of course we'll try and line up. You just have to ignore that sign on the taxiway there. I'm not too sure why that's there. <laughs> but. And here you can kind of see what I mean about the uh, terrain mesh. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to taxi uh, a bit further. Let's get off this hill. Oh, 
go. On level ground, so make a couple of checks. Uh, we got flaps set is good. Uh, yeah, everything is good. So get up the right chart, and then we should be good to go. That one there. Going to three thousand. No turns below seven forty. So good to depart now. Bumper traffic, exec jet zero five two departing runway two four. On uh, Golf Whiskey, Charlie, uh, Fire Foxtrot departure, climbing 3000. Cool, so we should be good to go. So let's take the break off. And I think we just go to Toga in this aircraft. Don't need full power for takeoff. We're on Toga. About 108. We just got to maintain the runway heading until we're past there. Now we can go to the autopilot. Taxi on Alpha, correction, 856 Alpha, target point Alpha, 4, 9, 2, 7, 5, Get that up, and then we need to get the flap up also. We come down to uh, the climb setting and then that should maintain our flight level control Bumper traffic, exec jet 052, clear of runway 24, climbing, sorry, maintaining 3000 to ASLAP as per published. Set. Well, I was trying to. Don't know what our autopilot's doing here. Probably should slow down as well. <laughs> Not sure why that didn't maintain the uh, correct speed, but. Okay, so Aslap. And what is our 
cruise out is 41,000 that level. Select that. Uh, that was just uh, some guy message. I'll get back to him in a second. We just need to get our climb out of the way. Here we go. We should be good for now. So I'm just going to announce uh, we're climbing through uh, flight level 100 uh, for 410. London traffic, exec jet 052, climbing through flight level 100 for 410, inbound Goodwood. So it should be good, and we need to switch over uh, standard here. So let's go back. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Oh, that's not PFD. My bad. The standard, and up here we have to go two nine nine two. go. Well, I guess you can just click that actually. And it. Uh, we didn't do landing lights and the strobe isn't on but <laughs> we've just done that now. And we be climbing nicely. We're above 10,000 now so we can uh, move our speed up a bit. And I think Oh, I'm doing the wrong one. Four one zero speed here. I think most uh, most people climb at about 220, but we're going to go 250. Why not? And I'm just going to reply to this guy who just messaged me on private message.
Okay, go have applied to that. And we've just passed Goodwood. So we don't need that shot anymore and should be good for now. Uh, It's nice uh, to get someone ask what plane I'm flying, I'm not sure why I asked, but... I want to know where this guy is, where is he? SHT4B, let me have a quick look. Right. Done. Uh, SHT4B. Uh, so that guy's just an observer. He's just an observer. Strange. Not sure why he's asking me, but... He's good. I'm just going to do a quick check. Everything's looking good. And what we can do now, we're in the air, we can set these on here. Set that like that. Uh, pressurization is auto. And I don't think there's going to be any ice. So leave that for now. I mean, we can turn the ice protection on. Never a bad thing. I mean, it's pretty cold outside, it's minus 50 right now. I think everything else is good. We just have to wait until we get to 410 now, I guess. Got a trusty co-pilot there. Gonna have a little chat with this guy. I want to see if he's observing or what what this guy's doing. Who asked me? What plane we're flying? I'm going to check the A cars for the A. Oh jeez, I got a lot of rule violations. <laughs> Mainly for the lights, landing lights, strobes. Uh, that that speed under 10k. Uh, the lights. That's about it. Yeah, that's my bad. Not a great start, but is what it is. Ah, so that guy is flying.
Uh, he's flying an A320 between London Heathrow and Belfast City. So London Heathrow and... Oh, I see him now. He's got no flight plan. <laughs> How is he on that sim flying the A320 and he's not even got a flight plan in? Oh my gosh. Uh, do you know why? There's no controllers at Heathrow, so he's... I think he's just taken off. I don't know. I'm gonna ask him, are you new? <laughs> <laughs> he said bon voyage to Lugano. And I'm not sure what's going on with the speed here. I'm guessing that's okay, point six. I mean, I'm not too fussed about how fast we climb here. Should be okay. Lovely. Ah, uh, he forgot to file it. Um, will that even show up now? Ah, oh, yeah, he's done it, yeah. Oh, wait, Belfast. So that's an uh, island, right, he's going to? Yeah, island. Nice. And let me quickly check our plan here. So we're going to Rin Rinti, which is just by Dover, and then we're going to make a right turn over Calais. Head down, uh, what is this? Uh, Benny Fontaine. Yeah, should be decent. Let's zoom out here, we don't need it in that close. And we're at 37. No, 370, 380 now. Our speed is dropping off. Uh, Poga climb the rest of the way, I guess.
Oh god, that always scares the life out of me. Okay, so he wants us to contact him. Uh, 128 300. You come on to do this, may have a good one, see if everyone's there. And uh, if we can check. I'm buying a 3 4 one for my push up start through the facing. Rames Control, Exec Jet 052 with you climbing through a flight level 400 for 410. Sorry, could you repeat the score? Was it 5673? Thank you, uh, 5673 uh, ExecJet052. Got the squawk in there. And I just need to check the uh, volume of those bounds because. Jet 052 identify the direct Os Hotel Oscar Charlie. A direct Hotel Oscar Charlie, Exec Jet 052. Gonna miss by most of the flight. Okay, so we go back to land. Three six four, speed rate eight nine zero, flight level three five zero, timing two seven zero. Here we go, so we've activated the direct. And I'm not sure if it's these fans making it sound loud. And I'm just going to check uh, on one is at 100%. Okay. 104 November, can we start descending? We have reached 100 percent Maybe this guy's um, microphone's just very quiet. 300, 104 November. We're at 410 now, we can reduce power. Do max cruise. Okay. 
And we just get back and relax now. We come off of here, we can just go on the map here. We're going to be heading, you know, down here somewhere. Be about here. You can kind of see progress. Alpine 34 Alpha Mike, it's uh, ready for taxi and we can depart via intersection hotel. Alpine 34 Alpha Mike, taxi only point hotel runway 15 via Alpha and Bravo. Alpha Bravo, hold hotel runway 15 and we'll report ready Alpine 34 Alpha Mike. We actually have a British Airways coming really close to us. I'm going to quickly check that out about... Oh, he's down there. So he was uh, one for November. Uh, we've got a contact me from us. London. Just confirm if you can switch. Um, oh yeah, London South. So just uh, connect so you can contact London Control One Two Nine. Oh well, that's sad. Uh, London South have just connected. Just confirm. Uh, are we still supposed to be in your airspace? Because London also just said disregard. Oh yeah, but uh, actually you are reaching the complex, so you can now contact. You. Over to 12945, so I'll one fire, uh, correction, one for November, thank you for the service, bye. Oh man, the whole of South has just come on, even London, TMA is on, London Control's on. Ah, we missed them by like 20 minutes. That's alright though. Because we're now in French airspace. Hopefully, by the time we get down to James Control, very good afternoon, Ryanair right to Yucky Hotel, follow level 380, overhead back Could be good. Ryanair to Yucky Hotel, and ask for the portal, identify, direct to Ratsuk. Direct to Ratsuk, Ryanair to Yucky Hotel. We got a pretty long flight here. Lance control du Fox Papa Alpha pour SRA Radio. Merci Fox Bravo Uniforme Papa Alpha, TBM 930 sur l'aéroport de Vatry. Ce sera pour un vol VFR, ce sera pour des tours de piste. Fox Papa Alpha, je ne contrôle pas Vatry dans le secteur où vous êtes, donc dans Paris Nord. Je vous suis, euh, merci, c'est beaucoup, euh, Fox Papa Alpha. We must have a slight headwind here because usually this plane does about max 7-7 seven, seven or 7-8. Seven, We're only doing 6-7 right now. I'm not overly sure why. And we're set to max cruise, so... We have the ISIN turned on. One thing I don't really like about uh, this Garmin is it doesn't really tell you where the wind is, you have to check manually. 
Not that I know of, anyway. Just doing some checks here. Yeah, everything is looking fine. Lovely for off my own to put on a hotel for the moment five, ready to go. Advantage for Alpha Michael from Hotel Lineup for the one five, wind the one seven zero degrees, four knots, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff from the one five, Alpha Michael for Alpha Michael. Uh, so we just disconnected there, one second. I'm not sure why, but... Well, I'm sh I know why, it's 21 FPS, or 20 FPS is the limit, but... No matter what plane I fly, I can never keep stable FPS. Yes, I'll look at the floor. Thanks, Kotor. Good afternoon. I'm Hotel 1825, flight level 137. From Hotel 1825, ask Kotor. I'm at flight level 320. Hotel 1825. Such a nice looking plane. And we're slowly creeping up to Mach 0 0.70. How busy is this guy's airspace right now? This guy isn't that busy for some reason, there's only three people in his airspace from France to Switzerland right now. Climb flat level 140, I'll point too far off Mike.
I'm hoping some of this cloud clears up. Time we get there because it would be sad to have a cloudy arrival. We'll have to make do if it is. Problem. I'm just going to check out the VNAV we've got set up here. So Gerzo, it looks like, will be the top of descent. Um... I know, wait. So Adina, 15,000, let me check that. Adina, so if we get the chart up, open chart, uh, standard terminal arrival. Adina, 7 Lima. Thames Control, good evening sir, look sir, 96 Mike with you level 220. Yeah, so you need to be flight level 150 or 140 Adena. And Lugan, you need to be 110. Uh, Pinnick, I think you need to be above 6,000 and then you have a very, very steep descent. Carry out standard instrument approach to runway 01 if needed for this opening runway 19. Uh, okay, that should be alright. 0096 Mike identified to direct packing. Sir, nice. It's Mike. Direct again. Oh, that should be okay. So does it give us a altitude for cool though? I don't think it approach IGS runway zero one. Easy seven 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 direct to the river. Um, and control today, 
But it looks like Pinnock, we need to be uh, 6,000. Then Cordo, we need to be 5,000. And we have some warnings here, standard, this is not a standard uh, approach angle. Pappy light set to 6 degrees, use Pappy only after passing the... Okay. Do not undershoot Pappy glide path due to the trees below approach path. Deep approach, 6, 5 degrees. Aircraft certification and crew qualification type C required. I've got none of those, but I know how to land at this airport. I do it a lot. Should be good. I'm going to check the approach. So yeah, 5,000 at Pinnock and then we're going to go down. Alpha entry for Alpha Mike, uh, you are leaving my space. Monitor Unicom, want to do this money, have a nice flight. Over to Unicom, thank you for the service. I'll find pretty far off the mic, bye bye. About 27 minutes until top of descent. Yeah, that should be good. I need to figure out how to do the uh, do the approach in this yet. I haven't, I haven't really figured it out, but uh, be right back. I'm just uh, going to make a drink and uh, be back in about two. Minutes.
Sun, H, Charlie, Alpha, Fox, Alpha, Double One, Three, Zero, Sun, Alpha, Double One, Nine, Alpha, Double One, Eagle, Z. Okay, so we're back. And... How long have we got? Like 23 minutes to... Then... I believe we can activate that after about 20 minutes. That should bring us down. I believe... All I have to do... Is be now? I think that's correct. We have 20 minutes to uh, learn how to do a VNAV descent. Okay. Not getting much in the way of uh, simple written guides. Direct two feature BFC. Black plan B. Black plan is done. The pilot is pulling. Offset. Those are not sent. But all the decimate rather than the right out. But 
Once you press enter, the, there's a point. Um, aims control can start with one six x ray, flat over 300, direct right, zero. Can't I read one six x ray, minus one four four root, clock five seven seven two. Clock five seven seven two, can't I read one six x ray? Oh, you're dumb again, you may edit the Vina profile bus. It doesn't tell you how to do it though, whether it do it automatically. Ah, here we go. So in order for the autopilot to capture the vertical path, the VNAV has to be armed, acknowledged, within five minutes prior to reaching the top of this vent. This can be accomplished by pressing the VNAV key for the pilot, or by adjusting the altitude. Just to wait for the one minute vertical crack alert. Uh, 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 wants to do this for uh, multiple subsequent step down. If you press VNAV again, you may actually have done it. Check your autopilot status bar at the top. Green enough typically works one fixed prior to the capacity, five path becomes active. Fifth and light, flight number three, on seven, zero, 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 Okay, but it seems you are, you have an offset of 30 nautical miles from your route. You are 30 nautical miles west from Titix. Now you are, it, it looks like you are flying direct to um, something like Batco or Bati. I will reconfigure my MCDU because uh, I can see I got a flight correctly, but I will. Uh, Jeez, there's a lot of guys in this person's airspace right now. Any chance we can uh, change the flight plan to go to Gatwick instead of uh, Amsterdam? Easy, triple seven. Uh, do you have the flight plan? No, I'm just asking. Do I need to file a new flight plan? Uh, the same, everything, all the regions the same, just different destination. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, you can reroute and then you need to stop. Please, control, it's your 5 for 8. Can you confirm the flight level you asked me to send to? 5488, flight level 370, good traffic. 370 is a 5 for 8, thank you. Yeah, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, Charlie, uh, I said that you have a problem with the MCDU. Uh, can you maybe give me the waypoint uh, you want to fly? Uh, well, the problem here is you, you, completely, you, you are completely offset of the route. Um, you can maybe do. Since nobody is connected, you can do uh, direct to Batir or something. Victor Alpha Tango in the Arabia. I can't actually see. Victor one six six three identified. Proceed direct to Rate. That. Now it's better. Say Victor wants to. You can see our top of the vent now. When ready, we send flight level 300. When ready, to send flight level 300, easy flight for 88. Not sure. And we're not too far away now. Sir, 
It's your 96 Mike, expecting level 1 force here in Akelu and we are clear for Akelu 5 kilos. Speedbird 890, you are in the fire space, you need to look at what you're listening to, and I just planned on. Beagle? Dugas is that? I just said. Sounded like you. Voice cracked up or something. Easy triple, so just file a new flight plan, if that can be approved. Easy triple, so that must stand by, I still need to receive the flight plan. I can't see our top of descent yet, so... Because we have about 13 minutes to go, well, 10 minutes. I hope we can get this to work properly. So, uh, one six six three, uh, requesting climb for uh, three T zero. Okay, one six six three, climb for three T zero. I'm climbing three T zero. Sorry, three T. One six six three. Most likely after we land, or once we're on approach, we'll probably get uh, the whole of Switzerland come online. But, eh. Go here, EJU, if it's funny. Yeah. Tell you what, it's nice to see a lot more um, business jets flying on here though. Right now, I can see within our sort of area, we have uh, CJ4 going from Stuttgart to Torino. Uh, just behind them, there's just been a Challenger 650 departed from Nice, Côte d'Azur, going to Samidan. That's a nice trip. I do that quite a bit. Uh, what else have we got around here? Uh, that uh, Challenger 600, 650, sorry, is a uh, is a NetJets flight. The ExecJet 2241. Director of KSX, thank you very much. Malta, one eight five, you are leaving Paris space. I'm going to turn the sounds down a bit because I can't hear anything. That's the same. Lift on Z 
that too in my trolley, you are leaving my space, only to you come on the simulator, you may fly down now. You are leaving my space, you can monitor any come out of the signal, and it's a nice flight down. Uh, copy, thank you, see you. Sorry. Could be getting put in there now. Look. Is the triple seven new squawk? Squawk five seven seven three. Five, seven, yeah, so we're nine nine minutes away now. Ram Center, Hansa Line 101, review oh. currently at flight level 108, going for, eight, for flight level 80. Um, good afternoon. That guy's literally like on top of the airplane, Hansa like line, on the roof. Five oh, clear for, uh, Lupin that was so loud. Expect ILS uh, Zulu approach on way 23. Alpine 27 Fox Shots Lima Bonsoir, currently flat level 150, inbound the DPR. On the line 101, going for the 6 Victor uh, approach, and for runway 23 Zulu um, ILS. On the line 101. Jesus, that mm -hmm. guy's mic is so bad. Ryanair 2 Yankee Hotel, contact uh, London Control Hopefully this sun holds out for us. I'm not sure how long we've got. But sets, but I'm hoping be a uh, sunset arrival. And the line one zero one direct uh, Sierra Tango Romeo. I'm not sure though because they're probably uh, direct to Sierra Tango Romeo. Um, on the line one zero one. They're probably a hour or so in front so maybe the sun is already setting in uh, Switzerland but we'll see it's probably about five o'clock five o'clock or so in Switzerland I imagine Uh, monitor 122 decimal 8. Thank you, mate. Have a good one. Jet, jet 052. Good sir, 96 Mike. We are ready for descent. Good sir, 96 Mike. Descent flight level 140. Descent flight level 140. Oh, so now we're going to go over to. Uh, bomb. Uh, one two two decimal eight. Which is a shame, really, but uh, well, it's kind of done us a favour because that guy's microphone was absolutely killing my ears. Now we have uh, no control, so we're gonna have to do this all by ourselves. Nice.
I kind of want to try something here. I want to see if we can select like Odina and then descend and it will follow these blue points. I don't think it will though. But we're within five minutes. We're going to wait until it goes down to under two minutes and then that should be okay for us to enable the VNAV. Then it should pick up the points. And we've just arrived at Hotel Oscar Charlie. I'm just going to wait for something here. I'm not sure if you can actually do this or not. We'll wait a little bit. One minute and then uh, we're going to enable it. And hopefully it should descend me all the way down to Adina. And we'll get there at 15,000. That is the plan. I'm not sure if you can skip waypoints. Uh, but we're, we're about to find out. If you can, that's awesome. Then once we get down there, all I have to do is uh, go to 11,000 or, you know, select the next waypoint I want to descend to. Probably 11,000 at the gun. And, yeah, makes the flight a lot easier. I guess first we need to select 15,000 here now we're on the two minutes so VNAV that should Pick up the path. There's a flight plan here. Zoom in. We should be good. I hope. This map isn't great. <laughs> Even when you zoom in like one or two clicks it. Okay, so we can see our top of descent there now. And hopefully hopefully when it gets to the top of descent we'll see it start descending. You see V path in the top left, uh, what the left V1000? Once we pass top of descent, I believe that should change to something else. There we go. That's the uh, enough control in that completely. So it does work, I guess. 
And we're gonna push speed. Take a look here. Yeah, that's doing everything as planned. And I'm just going to check the approach shots. So, Caldo, you want to be at uh, 5,000. I'm here. In it. In it. How does that approach it? So it goes over, go so direct to cold though. Was it direct to Pinnock? It goes cold though, Pinnock, round, back to cold though, and then straightens up for an approach. I believe that's. But oh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Uh, hold up. Why is this? Why have been? I'm not sure why that wasn't descending, but I guess we'll have to do it manually. We're going to take the throttle to idle. And... Wants us... We'll have to put that on as well, slow down a little bit just so we can get back on the Vena path. I think that's just telling us uh, the cabin pressure is a bit high because we're descending so fast, but... Just gonna get the windshield heat on there because it's hella cold outside here.
I'm just going to arm that again because I want to try and work this out. I think we're doing everything right. I'm just I'm not sure whether you have to control it manually with a vertical speed or flight level change or whether it should just dip the nose down and you just control the the throttle, you know. See there, I'm not sure what it's doing. It's uh, it's just kind of leveled out. I'm uh, I have no idea. And it says Alt V there. I think that is what it should say. It's shown some figures there now. And here we go. Just started sending there. For some reason. There we go, it's descending again. It is doing something, but I don't know what I'm doing to make it do this. 24,400 now it should go to. Check the approach chart. Or the uh, arrival chart. Yeah, we're not far from Adina. Once we pass Adina, I believe we need to go to Aldo. Aldo? We're still coming down. We need to be at 15,000. Sending into the mountains here. Look outside. Yeah, maybe it's going to be a bit dark by the time we actually land. I 
I'll take out the just quickly check that. I think that is working actually, it's putting us down to 15,000 at Adena. I'm just going to do the rival, so Lugano over the top, go to head to Coldo. And when we're on our way to Coldo, we can activate the approach, I believe. And that should swing us back round and bring us into 0 1 for the uh, IGS approach. It's nice to see the, uh, the v VNAV working. Maybe we need to go bring that down to 11,000 now. Because once it switches, we need to be 11,000 at Lugan. And we can actually turn the band back up. So that's got us at 15,000. And it's now descending us down to 11. Now it's bringing us down to 11, I believe we can go to 6,000, which we need to be at Cordo. So we need it to have green here, VPath. And Alt V, I believe, or Alt Select. For it to be working. And it only adheres to the restrictions, not the uh, the programmed altitudes, I believe, on the, on the middle uh, G1000. I'm just going to check the approach charts now. So we're just coming over the top. We're going it. 
Go outside, we shall see that. So that's Logano down there. And it's going to take us over the top, take us out there, bring us around, and then down, and then back in 01, which is this way. We're almost down. And that's going to make us turn there. So now, I believe we have to go to procedures, activate the approach. And that should start to bring us down to 6,000. Go flight plan now. Yep. Um, and we do need to get the altimeter up here. 2966. Passing 10,000, so we need a landing lights on. Same here. The standard uh, 296. Lugano traffic, uh, exec jet 052 on approach. It's bringing us down. Pinnock, we need to be 5,000, so let's bring that down to 5,000. And I'm just going to have a look uh, where we are. Okay, so it brings us out, swings us round, Pinnock, then Caldo, and then down. Lovely. We might just catch the, uh, the sunset here. What have we got in there? We got 5,000. I believe we should be able to. Bring that down to a hundred and that should bring us all the way down, maybe. Six thousand at Pinnock. Uh, 
And one thing I do need to check is 108.9. That's all programmed in. Lugano traffic, exec jet 052 on final, runway 01. Now we press the approach, that should. About to bring us down. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Lovely. Yeah, that's one. Bring another level of flaps. It's just quite a steep approach, so maybe we need a speed brake as well. Not a lot we can high do about speed. that. <laughs> high speed. We have flaps full high with speed, speed brakes, so high speed. High speed. Bring the gear out. High speed. Hopefully high that should speed. slow us down a little bit. High speed. I'm hoping we're going to get down in time. Looks like it's got us on a pretty steep approach. I'm very high. Not the best landing we've ever done, but certainly not the worst. I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of happy that everything worked as we hoped. And we have no traffic around here, well, especially at Lagana. That's why I didn't announce anything. Yeah, that worked out perfectly. I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it now. <laughs> this VNAV in uh, the G1000. I don't really fly the G1000 a lot. When I first started flying on uh, X-Plane, I used to fly the Caronado uh, Caravan 208 a lot but yeah it's the only plane I really use the G1000 in a lot of the time I just use uh, 
the MCDU by Honeywell, uh, and the Airbuses and stuff like that, or I'm using like an FMC or something like that, you know, the Collins FMC. If I'm in a GA plane, most of the time it has like a GNS 540 or something like that, a 430. Um, I never use the, uh, the 750 or whatever, 730, whatever it is. Yeah, I never use that. Get the taxi lights on. See if we have to turn the strobe off. And we'll just taxi to a uh, stand of our choice. Got no one here, so. It's quite sad, actually. The amount that I fly here, I've never really seen anyone other than, like, maybe a small, like, GA planes. A couple of small GA planes. I've really seen anyone fly in or out of here. It's such a nice, uh, nice airport to fly into. Gonna pull up here somewhere. We'll go under the lights over there actually. Us. Just pull up to the stop line. There we go. Let's come up here. Let's get the taxi lights off. Navigation lights off. And we can shut down the engines. Stop, stop. Then we just have to make sure we turn everything off, the ice protection, that stuff, that off, I believe we can off. I always find it's best to do the opposite, you know, you work from background. Off. That's all fine, you pull that out. I believe that is a shutdown procedure. So, right there. And I say, go over plane outside. that disembark our passengers for FS Charter oh. and we have to finish our flight for NetJets virtual so in flight I'll fly.
Our weapons have been filed. Lovely jubbly. And that's the video done. So, uh, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you've seen this and uh, you want to follow more videos like this and uh, we'll be doing some shorts like landings and stuff like that and then, uh, yeah, maybe one day once I've got this plane under my belt I can, uh, you know, do some tutorials, try and help you guys out, fly it better. But uh, as I said, this is one of my first flights in this plane, so, yep, we're in the learning process and we will get better get better at this um like and subscribe obviously click the bell if you uh see more videos like this and get notifications and until next time thank you and goodbye